Hi, everybody. I'm Mel Dore, the Aloha Shirt Psychic, and I have Arthur Ease Your Mind in the house. Hi, Hi Arthur. How are you? I'm well. How about yourself, Mel? I'm hanging in there. <laughs> yes, well, as I tell everybody, happy holidays, spelled D-A-Z-E. Happy holidays. I like that. Yeah. I remember that. So, uh, Arthur, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? I have a sandwich board and I walk up and down the streets with it. it says we'll reach for food. Uh, usually I'm Rodeo. No, it's it's uh, Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube. That's Arthur, A-R-T-H-U-R, Ease, E-A-S-E, Your, Y-O-U-R, Mind, M-I-N-D. And then it's also Arthur Ease Your Mind dot com. And if anyone wants an appointment or anything, just just says make an appointment book an appointment at the top how do they, if they want to if they want to call you how do they get a hold of you i have to read this 310-494-5955 i'll use my computer voice that is 310-494-5955 yeah it's funny it came it comes up as a, ma- a number in malibu i'm not in malibu no we but, would it. Well, I always, I always, when I was in guys, I, I used to manifest when I first moved to LA. I'm going to live in Malibu. Well, at least I have a phone number now. <laughs> well, it's close, close enough. I manifested it. There you go. Thirty years later, but still, yeah, it's Malibu. All right, we have questions. Yes. <laughs> um, but before we get to those, there's some things that we might want to talk about. Um, you know, I had I had predicted that other states would take T. Rump's Cheeto Head's name off the ballot, and Maine did. I see another one. So I think everybody's pressuring the Supreme Court to hurry up and meet on this, and blah blah blah. All right. Um, my feeling is they'll find some obscure way to keep his name on the ballot. Uh, and in so doing, they'll say to avert a constitutional crisis. Um, I don't know exactly what they'll find, but I think they'll find some way. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not. I don't think that's because they're pro-Trump. I just think that it'll, it will be preemptive because then what's to keep, you know, the other party from saying, "Well, we'll take Biden's name off because we don't like him," you know. Um, well, they've already they've already hinted at that. Well, they can try, but that wouldn't work. No. Okay. So they can hint at it all they want. But notice when when notice when their candidate is the perpetrator of things and they hold their their candidate accountable, they do everything in the book to protect that candidate. But yet they'll pull shenanigans to get the opposition uh to yeah. lose. Do the same thing. You know that they accuse others of doing the hypocrisy just blows me away. Well, it's it's called projection. <laughs> I mean, they accuse like when um, Diaper Don was talking about um, it, gave a speech and said, "Biden's not for democracy. I'm for democracy." Where's my case? Yeah, exactly. I think part of it is you know they let Trump get by with all this stuff and he's our candidate, but. You know, they don't want his name off the ballot, but yet he 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 um participated in an insurrection. Yes. Whereas they say, oh, we'll take Biden's name off that same party, but Biden didn't do anything. His only crime was that he won and beat Trump. Correct. So the double standards just Fair and square. amaze me. Now they want to impeach Biden. That's just a diversion for what? He hasn't done anything. They just want to equate the word impeachment with Biden so that Trump and impeachment all gets mixed up. What's well, obvious they're trying to weaken Biden. And it's obvious that, you know, they're doing, uh, or Trump is doing playbooks from Putin, of course. And Putin wants Trump in because if Putin can get Trump in, he knows the stand that Trump would have on Ukraine because he's exactly. mad at Ukraine. So he won't give any aid. And under this and behind the scenes, he'd support Russia, and they would think he could get the Republicans to do the same thing. But you know when they talk about his age all the time? Number one, Trump is three years younger. 
Number two, Mick Jagger is older than Joe Biden. Well, he'd probably be a better president than Trump, that's for sure. Yeah, you, well, you know, what I'm saying is we're talking about age. Well, Mick Jagger's still on stage doing what he does. No one's saying he's an old man. Well, the, the same BS comes up, you know, that came up in 2020, that Biden is senile, that he's this, he's that. But I think he's proven that he's not. Not that he had to prove anything. So that argument just doesn't hold water. Well, what I like is they say he's a doddering old man at one side. The other side of their, their mouth, they say, oh, he's gotten the DOJ weaponized. It's like he's some like genius, you know. So is he a doddering old man or a genius? The only one that weaponized the DOJ was Donald Trump when he put Bill Barr in. And we all yeah. know that <clears throat> Trump influenced Bill Barr's decision. We all know that. Well, what I'm feeling as far as all these things happening with the Supreme Court, number one, I kind of agree with you as far as taking them off the ballot. Um, and I felt they may even kick the Congress or something, something weird. They don't want to touch it, number one. Number two, the thing with the immunity that... Well, the immunity thing that they're going to say he's not immune. Exactly. That's what um, I... But as far as the ballot thing, that's all. Yeah. There's two separate. There's exactly there's all kinds of separate issues coming in front of the court. They'll say he's not immune from prosecution, right? But they might say on the SCOTUS thing. The SCOTUS might say on the ballot thing that it, that it's got to be Congress has to decide or something. That's 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 what I was saying, Congress. But right. also when I was reading it, as far as where Jack Smith leapfrogged with the uh, immunity thing and then they kicked it back down to the other court the other court they're having a hearing i think it's on the 8th or the 9th of january and that's going to get turned around in like three or four days and then i keep them saying they will have a decision by february 6th the supreme court that he's you know that he does not have presidential immunity and march 4th is still on the books Oh, so, I, the immunity they'll go, they'll go through pretty yeah. quick. I'm not yeah. worried about that. I just think they wanted to go through the other courts first. Yeah, because then they, oh. they want to say, like, oh, well, he leapfrog now if it gone to the other court. It's just to muddy the waters. So, well, I think Jack Smith did that kind of knowing what the Supreme Court would do. Well, he, he gave the so he could he get it to work to both courts the same day. Correct. So he could get it through the other courts quicker. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah. But but that's one thing over here. Over here is the whole thing about Trump's name on the ballots. And I think they might say, you know, Congress has to vote to get it off or something. something yeah, else. that's that's it's some like you said, something archaic will show up. I don't know if it's archaic. I just think it's more like. Weird. They'll, they'll find a way around it. Yeah, I feel they don't want to touch it. But huh. whatever happens, I'm still saying Biden's going to win. Well, and I agree with that. Biden, I feel, will win. But we can't get too complacent in thinking that Biden's going to win. Because if we do, we could very easily have Trump or one of his cronies in that office. Well, every show that I do, mostly the private shows, I tell people the most three important words in the English language right now is oh. vote, vote, vote. Mm -hmm vote right that's right period and our votes do count so don't let anybody yeah. convince you that they do not well, i think i mentioned this before when hillary was running and and everybody's saying oh hillary's going to get in and i was telling people and they weren't voting i said you have to vote she's not going to get in and they wouldn't talk to me for like two weeks i said there's something going to hit the papers or something she's going to lose it and if you don't watch it trump's going to get in and i knew about five people that didn't even vote well, not voting was a was our our protest vote was a vote for Trump, right? Well, they were just like lack of day schools. Well, she's going to get in. What's what's the big hurry? What's the big rush? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, right. So we have to learn from our mistakes. Well, did we or do we? We will. Um, I don't know. I hope. According uh, to my crystal ball and my cards, and I know everybody, you know, has been commenting. Well, you know, he doesn't have to be convicted of insurrection and blah blah blah. I think that his name should be taken off the ballot, to be honest with you. Oh, I agree. <clears throat> but I'm just predicting on what my guides are showing me that SCOTUS is going to do. Yeah. 
Well, I agree with you 100% on both. Okay, so Russian strikes on Ukrainian cities, which brings up a point um, because Pastor, somebody said Pastor Johnson. Um, Preacher Johnson. I'm sorry? The Preacher of the House. The Preacher of the House doesn't want to give Ukraine any money. But I still see Ukraine getting money. It could be through the European Union. It could be through backdoor channels. But I see them getting help. Uh, and I can tell you right now, they will not stop fighting. Oh, no. No. Even if they have to throw, you know, sunflower seeds, you know, they're going to fight. And I have been saying that Biden has something up his sleeve. But they're right. going to get the money. And he, he's made a commitment to... Zelensky, he's a man of his word, and he's going to keep it. And then people are asking next year about the economy. Some say inflation, some say recession. I see the economy on the upswing. So do I. Which, which will really help put, will help Biden's chances to get in office. Now, some of the MAGAs are going to say, oh, the economy's bad, blah, 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 Trump. They can say whatever they want. Exactly, but it's not going to work. The very oh. first show I did with you, Gas was six dollars and ninety nine cents. Here, it's now four ninety nine. In some places in Kentucky, it was like three dollars two eighty nine. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, I mean, that shows something right there, and that's well, at one of the most expensive stations in the area too. Well, so. I mean, we had all predicted the gas prices would go up because of you know uh, of the Putin Ukraine thing. Mm -hmm. But I said I would rather pay ten dollars a gallon for gas and put one penny of Putin's mud in my gas tank. Well, <laughs> that's well, that's what they pay in Europe, and that's what the Republicans were saying in the beginning. Oh, yeah, woo, woo, woo. but now look, yeah, and our inflation has gone down. Inflation. Well, I don't read inflation for next year. You know who was that politician who said that he liked it. Was it Johnson who liked somebody? I forget who liked it in Russia, and it was great. And I said, "Well, the move there is so good." <laughs> well, I have a list of about five names that probably say that. So there you go. <laughs> All right. So Ukrainians will not stop fighting. I see them getting more airplanes, and they'll get the help they need. So, and what I've been predicting, takes, even if it takes Sorry. boots on the, even if it takes boots on the ground from the European Union and NATO and Europe, they will do it. Well, I've been saying, I keep on picking up 18 months. In around 18 months, Ukraine will be part of NATO. They'll be joining NATO in 18 months. So working backwards, they win. I've always seen them as part of NATO. Yeah. Trump, Trump does Trump or Putin doesn't want them in NATO because he wants to weaken NATO. And exactly. that he was using Trump to weaken NATO because that's why Trump was anti-NATO because Putin wanted it. Because Putin knew if he could weaken NATO then he could go in and weaken the European Union. He could go in through Romania. Uh, he could go up into the Baltic Republics, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. Yeah. Um, he could go into Slovakia. He he said he wants the old Soviet Union back, and it's not going to happen. No, no. And Putin is being backed by Iran. Oh, yeah. And I say, my guy showed me that Putin and Iran kind of, uh, we're behind that whole Gaza attack, the Hamas attack on Israel. Yeah. Netanyahu wants that war to continue because it takes attention away from him. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, he could have ended that within a week if he wanted to. But he wanted to drag it out because, here again, people aren't thinking about the crook that he is. So... Uh, but it was it was masterminded by Putin and Iran um, to make Biden look bad, to try to make to create uh, so Putin could get Middle Eastern countries on his side and also to take everybody's eyes off of Ukraine. Exactly. Exactly. Well, and the fact that the, October 7th is Putin's birthday. I mean, was that a birthday present to him? Come on. You're right. <laughs> Uh, Putin is alive. Some some of the people oh, yeah. he's dead. He's not. I I do think that that press con conference they they filmed different endings, <laughs> or they filmed it wasn't filmed all at once. I think it was filmed edited. times and edited. Yeah. So, uh, I don't and, think Russia is doing as well as Putin said. Well, uh, I'm I'm predicting, and I've said this many times, and that 
around April first, I don't see Putin around. Oh, good. I and <laughs> and if he and if he's still alive, oops. But is he going to be there spiritually, mentally, physically? I don't think so. I, I think he'll be incapacitated. One somebody that went against him just got pushed out of another window. I don't. Know. Yeah. My joke is they get pushed pushed out of first floor windows. <laughs> well, he would, but you know. All right. So the other thing is, uh, the governor of Ohio vetoed a bill banning transition care for minors for um, for transgender. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was a ruling in favor of LGBTQ, and the guy's a Republican, right? Well, uh, it was weird. I was talking to somebody last night, and they were saying, "Well, these trans kids, I can't believe their parents would let them do that at such an early." I said, "What are you talking about? They don't have surgery until after they're eighteen. They have to go through, you know, at least two years of therapy to see if they really want to transition. It's not to just go in and cut things off." And they're talking about puberty blockers, but all the states are so scared they're taking kids off puberty blockers and i think for once this guy had balls what about the rights of the kids who you know are trans and what about the what about the parents rights they say it's all about parents rights and well what about the parents rights to have lgbt children because they know their children are lgbt and there's a lot of controversy here in california right now and around sacramento there's a and in Temecula, there's these two mega churches that are getting so involved in the school districts. Then, if they're going to do that, they should lose. They should lose their their tax, tax exemptions. You know, it was yeah. the same thing with uh, Proposition Eight in California. The church, you know, Pro California said gay people could get married. Churches get involved. A certain church whose name I won't mention because I don't want to go to YouTube jail. And um, when that church got involved. You know, they, well, the way Proposition 8 was written would have confused a Philadelphia lawyer. I'm in California. When I read that, I'm like, am I voting yes or no on this? Was yes mean no, no means yes? Exactly. It was confusing as hell. And that was the church and, involvement in it. Well, it's because they wear that magical underwear. But that's another story. I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. But just kidding. Entertainment purposes only. But no, it was confusing when the church got involved with that. It really messed things up. And when you have Iowa voting for same-sex marriage before California, that's a mind blower. But it, but it, but it ended up biting the church in the rear end because Proposition Eight was overturned, right. and so here we are. Um, I think well, it was a litmus test. But um, so you know, yeah, but Mike Johnson wants to reverse gay marriage, and so anti-gay well he can try but it's well, but it's already yeah. been ruled on it's the only thing i can see is some state saying we're not going to give you the right to get married and then it'll go to the supreme court and blah 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 but um i see gay rights being codified at some point i do too and i see we, more justices on the court so I, I see roe v wade reinstated at some point and mm -hmm. i you know people are you know the majority of us are going to get so tired of that ultra right wing maga supposedly christian if that's christian count me out um nationalism nationalist movement telling the rest of us what to do mm. the government you know as far as the lgbtq or the transgendered kids are concerned you know the government needs to keep their hands out of that i mean these are medical conditions that these kids have and they deserve medical treatment period there was a question that somebody sent me in my last show. I, I really have to bring it up now. She asked, when will politicians um, get in trouble for practicing medicine without a license when they overturn a doctor's decision? Well, if that had been one of their kids who was trans or something, mm -hmm. um, you know, the shoe was on the other foot. Oh, my God. They would be on it like white on rice. Or the kid would be in concern in some conversion therapy camp. What the <laughs> no. uh, Okay. So, uh, uh, all right. Uh, oh, 
Lauren Barlberg, she changed political districts. I needed a good laugh on that one. I talked about it yesterday. That that made my day, you know, because she knows in the district she's she's in, she ain't gonna win. Chris is gonna win. There's no there's no question. The Democrats win. Well, she's not gonna win in the new district either. No, the guy that left left the Republican Party because he said they were all nuts. And <laughs> no. so she and they said the equivalent of where her district four is. Is basically between like driving between here New York City and Boston. That's how far away it is. And basically, it's like you can live in the same state but be in a different district. But she doesn't care about the people in her own district. Plus, there's going to be a primary in that district, and she's going to lose the primary. She'll be primaried out. Yeah. Then and she'll that, have to change districts again. You know, either open. She's the, running for some sort of office. Though. Yeah, Rotary Club or Hooters Club. I don't know. Maybe babies, Bibles, and Jesus. <laughs> And guns. Oh, I'm, I forgot about the guns. All right. So are we ready to get to the questions? Sure. Okay. Sylvia Munoz. Munoz. Hi, Sylvia. Sylvia is a regular watcher, <laughs> follower. Thanks, Sylvia. She's got five questions. One, we just talked about it. Lauren Boebert is switching seat districts from the third to the fourth. Does she really think she'll win? Obviously she does, but you know what? She's going to get bit where the sun doesn't shine on that one. I wonder what she's vaping. That she thinks she's going to win. Oh no, but whatever it is, I want some of it. <laughs> well, remember at Beetlejuice, she was vaping in front of a pregnant woman. <laughs> okay. Marjorie Taylor Green was target of the swatting incident on Christmas. Is she the fake caller? She's doing it for attention or publicity. I think it was done for publicity. That's what I pick up. And it'll be proven at some point. I agree. But I think some of the other ones were not, because this is the eighth time it's happened to her, supposedly. Um, yeah, but she's, you know, she's politicizing that. Look what they're doing to me and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then she said it's all about Jesus and Christmas. And then she has the wrapping paper of impeach Biden. <laughs> yeah, Biden. yeah so, how, how Christian is that? Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay. They're all crazy. Well, that's why I call her my tragic girlfriend, MTG. <laughs> I'm sorry, say again. That's why I call her my tragic girlfriend, MTG, or Little Cloven Hooves. <laughs> she should be arrested by the fashion police. Okay. Uh, Sylvia says, Oh my God, please tell me Nikki Haley is kidding about not knowing slavery started the Civil War. She was a secretary of state for crying out loud. Well, slavery was an issue. In the Civil War, I don't think it's what started the Civil War. It was I, one of the causes, but I didn't know it was a work program. About, either. I think it was a lot about, I mean, it was a cause. Yes, absolutely. But I think it was a lot about, you know, taxation of the South and, you know, how the South was being exploited. They felt by the North, even though the North didn't see they were exploiting the South and all kinds of stuff. Um, abolitionism was a part of it but not the whole banana. It was really, a lot of it was economic. Now people, everybody out there, don't start sending me like mm -mm. bad messages and things like that. I'm just simply saying that um, <clears throat> Nikki Haley obviously knew about it. She is now backpedaling. <laughs> well, when she turned around the person said, well, what do you think? Right. But slavery was a huge issue in the civil war. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was uh oh four score and 20 years four ago score and seven years ago four score and seven years ago well, the gettysburg address i don't right. know <laughs> uh, so um abolition abolitionism was a huge uh element in the civil war absolutely <laughs> yeah but now they're just saying if you read a book a history book from florida slavery was a uh work program yeah right oh it gave people skills oh excuse me it gave them skills well how could they use those skills if they were enslaved and they were looked at as chattel so for those of you who know who do not know what chattel means it means a personal belonging mm -hmm. so well, we need to be considered chattel oh absolutely so there you go uh so you know nikki haley knew that and now she's backpedaling and it's well not what she's going to say whatever the Koch brothers want her to say, entertainment purposes only. But you know, she's still MAGA. No matter what she says, she can't say, "Oh, women, I I agree with you. There should be abortion." She can't go anywhere like that. No, 
Um, okay. Um, but yes, slavery was absolutely a part of it. A big part of the Civil War. Absolutely. I don't know if it started it, but I forget the powder. I think it was the attack on Fort Sumter and then some of the states seceded from the Union. Uh, but the whole abolition, abol abolitionist movement I think is behind um, are one of the reasons for the Civil War. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's a huge reason. So, all right. Is Ronna McDaniels, the RNC chairwoman, in deep trouble for meddling in Michigan and other states? Yes. <laughs> yes. Like in YMCA. Yay. Why? Yeah, really. Big trouble. <laughs> She's losing money for the Republicans. She's going to be fired. Um, I, that's not a prediction. I guess that's a question or a statement. I do see She's her going to be fired. She's going to be let go. I see her fired. And I see her getting in trouble with with Mr. Trump's and all on tape of them trying to get those electors to change their vote. And she might. And I, I see her under indictment. Yeah, it's inter interfering. So, I'm not going to answer any questions on whether. Trump smells or not. I'm not going to go down that road. No, uh, I just call him Diaper Don. Well, there you go. I call him Cheeto Head. <laughs> I mean, I mean, his his corruption reeks absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That exactly. sounds like a swamp. So, if his physicalness s s smells as bad as his misdeeds, then he better well, put on deodorant. There's supposedly a quote from Van Gogh where he would say, within, without, meaning what's going on inside has to show out in the outside. He's writing on the inside. Very That's cool. all I'm going to say. Okay. So Roxanne M. says, does, it does seem uh, CRSPR technology will help a lot, at least temporarily for certain diseases, but will the technology undermine our natural defense system? And the answer to that is no. I think what, what that is if I'm not mistaken, I think they take some sort of DNA pieces from like certain types of bacteria or something and, and use it for treatment. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's going to have any, it's, well, it won't undermine our natural defensive system. If anything, it'll increase it. I, so, I thought it's going to increase. I'm not fearful of the technology at all. No, I'm not either. Oh. And I think that technology can then lead to other technologies. Oh, correct. You know, it could even bring about a cure for certain types of cancers is what I think. To reprogram oh, the mechanisms of the cell. Exactly. And I was thinking down the line, something about, I, when I kept on reading this, it was, I kept on getting dementia. From like, who? No, I said, when I was reading oh, this. Oh, well, it helped, I think, obviously. Yeah, and obviously dementia. There's something about the, I would, I would say with the next two years, something about dementia, there's going to be something. Thanks to this. Well, dementia is a wastebasket category. You can say dementia, but what causes it? Is it Lewy body? Is it Alzheimer's? Is it frontal temporal? Is it ischemic? And so it depends on what's what form of dementia. Dementia as to what treatment modality would work. And they know well, excuse me, they know a lot more about Alzheimer's now than they have in a while. So, oh yeah. They used to call it senility. Well, senility is senile dementia. It's kind of yeah, it's all yeah. grouped together. But I'm just saying that something of this is going to help some type of dementia. Let's uh, put that. I agree. Okay. The next thing she says, the effort to capitalize on new technologies is ferocious. And when the other fields of science interfere with it, they're being wrongly relegated outside curriculums and even hidden as the new science of epigenetics. Will research on epigenetics continue even though it is pointing in the real genesis of disease and contradicts the end of all thinking of current CPS uh, epigen epigen Epigenetics say our DNA is constantly being affected and changed every day by our environment, and that environment includes the food we eat. I don't quite know the question, <laughs> but all I can say is, is this CRSPR therapy or tech i mean it's 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 in its infancy mm -hmm. but it's going to be tremendously beneficial and treating diseases that we have no cure for and also preventing certain diseases so mm -hmm. i mean well, it's, it's not a cure-all no a, it's a start it's a start that's right so but you also know i work a lot with frequencies and one of the frequencies i use 
is 528, which is known as the DNA that repairs DNA. And I actually believe that frequent, there's a lot of frequencies that do affect our body, do affect our DNA. And because it gets your brain entranced in that frequency and it heals. Well, a lot of things affect our DNA. I mean, the radiation can, you know, causes mutations. So a lot, and that's energy. Mm -hmm. So energies can affect us, but I still, I, I can see the promising aspects for this. Um, it's hard to say CRSPR. I looked it up and it's like that long. So I'm going to go to it. But... Yeah, let's skip, let's keep to the initials. Okay. Ron Brack says, hi, Arthur. Thank you for your Christmas broadcast. It was great. Oh, hey. thank you. Okay. Hi, Mom. You. Your Christmas was great. It was, Ron. I hope your holidays are wonderful as well. How was your Christmas, Mr. Mel? It was good. It was wonderful. I spent it with family. So, and yours? If I spent it with family, I'd be in the nut house. So, <laughs> you'd be having a CRSPR. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it was fine. It's a brain transplant. I don't know who, <laughs> maybe they would give me a cheetah or something in my mark. Well, if I had a brain uh, transplant, it means it. it so, Ron Brock says, ever. my questions concern Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Now that Pastor Mike has cut off their funding, how soon will they get the needed funding to fight the Russians? Well, we talked about that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Will it come from the U.S. and the G7 turning over the $300 billion or so of confiscated Russian money to Ukraine? That's a yes. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, are there already F-16 jets operating in Ukraine? I do see. I, You know, I have predicted all along that they would get the fighter jets they need. And I exactly. see them getting the fighter jets they need. One way or another. Oh, they'll get them. Okay. Untamed Spirit says, why hasn't Mike Flynn been recalled in court martial? Is the top military leadership protecting him? I do see him stripped of all of his military titles at some point, but I don't know if he could be court martial. Well, he's in the military. But... Well, he's retired, but they can call him back. Right. And then strip him of all of his stuff and court martial him. I see him stripped. Not that way, but stripped of his that wouldn't be pretty. <laughs> I just threw up in my mouth. Uh, yeah, it'd be like it would be like, put it back on. <laughs> my eyes, my eyes. <laughs> yeah, right. I need to. I just want to walk <laughs> Um so I see his titles right. being removed. <laughs> yeah, his title, not his clothes. There you go. We need a good laugh. Okay. Untamed Spirit <laughs> says, OL Vaping can't keep her hands to herself. Bulbert is moving to the 4th District here in Colorado. Is she going to win? No, she's not. <laughs> she's going to win last. Um, wasn't she accused of somebody groping somebody or something? Oh, no. Is it, it was at a musical, afternoon musical matinee of Beetlejuice. Uh, with her boyfriend, or then whomever, and they were groping each other, and she was vaping through the and singing along. And there was a pregnant woman sitting behind her, asking her to stop vaping. She continued, and the ushers came up and asked her to leave. And she said, "Don't you know who I am?" No. <laughs> oh, I would have said yes. Unfortunately, I do. You still have to leave. Goodbye. Bye. She and so they kicked her out. Did Did she leave? Yeah, they, they they escorted her. Good. Escorting is a good word for her, isn't it? Yeah, right. Entertainment purposes. When I look at her, thank God I'm gay. I was telling some, I think I said on the show with Deanne last night, I said, if she were to go and what you're going to do, an OnlyFans page? I'd rather put Tabasco sauce in my eyes. <laughs> it might not be bad. <laughs> okay. Deborah Godlewski says, will, Ron, will Rana Romney McDaniel be ousted as the GOP chairman? Mahalo. You said that, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I think Herrig says, will inflation and or recession happen next year? Neither. I see the economy on the upswing. Well, unless you're watching Fox News. Which... No, we can't do that. I know. Sorry. Uh, no, we can't do that. Phone <laughs> use. I know. We can't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, 
you know, the Republicans, well, the MAGAs will say, oh, the Trump, oh, the economy. Um, They're already I, saying I, that. I, get it. I got to do learn an impression of him. But anyway, Alec Baldwin's the best impression of Trump I've seen. <laughs> um, no, my best impression of Trump is, Wing. there you go. All right. Okay. No, it's uh, like the emperor's, emperor's new clothes. So the MAGAs will say that the economy is bad and blah, 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 and blah, 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 when really it'll be good. So everybody don't believe the polls right now. A lot can happen between now and November. Remember that. Yeah. They had, it was everybody saying it was going to be President Romney. Correct. Okay. Mona Gale says, I enjoy the ease in your voice. I don't know whose voice she's talking about, yours or mine, but. Well, it says, Arthur, ease your mind, but I lose mine. So. Oh, the ease. Choice. I got it. I like the ease in your voice. I got it. Sorry. Got it. That went right over my head. Zing. That's right. <laughs> Duh. Zing went the strings of my heart. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, Sheila Saunders says, Wayne Hing, love you both, and thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, okay. She Who Creates says, well, the Epoch Times, a far-right multi-language newspaper and media company who has spread false stuff and conspiracy theories, get its come up and, and experience similar legal fate as a certain news channel. Um, okay. Well, what I see coming without mentioning any names of channels and things like that, is that a lot of media outlets will be held accountable. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot more lawsuits against a certain news outlet, and those lawsuits will win. And so... The one she's asking about, though, they're hideous. I know, I know. My point is, I see them being sued as well. Yeah, And, And I see you know, multiple lawsuits against many outlets who are reporting lies Mm -hmm. or untruths. (laughs) Uh, Yes, the truth will be told. Correct. The truth will win, will prevail. Okay. Uh, Irene Chavez says, I've been wondering this for a while now. I've had this feeling that we have been getting cyber attacked with all of our transportation issues. The train wrecks, the chemical spills, the helicopter crashing by the beaches. Can you tell me if this was happening because we were attacked by Russia due to classified docs given to Putin? That's a no. I think it's happening because our infrastructure is crumbling and we couldn't get the MAGAs to uh, to to help money-wise. Fund it. Fund it. To, to fund it. But Biden did get a lot of funding through to help with infrastructure. And I see more of that coming through. It'll be like the New Deal. So right. I don't think it's interference. I don't think it's cyber attacks. I really think it's just crumbling infrastructure. Well, it sounds like she watched Leave the World Behind with Julia Roberts. So there's right. a movie out there on, on Netflix called Leave the World Behind where technology is taken over. So well, I don't um, see it. I don't see this. It's a good happen. question. Right. It's a really good question. And I would oh, do the same thing too. But I think we really need to look more at infrastructure. Okay. Uh, Turpo4818 says Republicans in their pursuit of suppressing young voters are trying to remove polling places on college campuses. Mm -hmm. Will the Fed ever impose federal laws that prevent these attempts at voter suppression? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. And if it goes to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court is going to say that we cannot limit people's right to vote. That's what I think. What do you pick up on it? I agree 100% because they're afraid that young voters, even though they're people saying, well, the Gen Z is against Biden because he's, you know, with what's going on in Ukraine. I mean, not Ukraine, but in Israel and Gaza and just, well, like you said, Putin is just stirring the pot. But I do feel a in lot of that's propaganda and a lot of that's leaked out by the Putin camp. Oh, I'm saying it's, because it's, Putin, wants, Putin wants Trump to win. Yeah, well, it's something that Trump sits on. But anyway, the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry, but, but the whole thing about the voting rights, that's the one thing they cannot take away. Right. And I feel that'll be ratified somehow. Even though they say it's a state thing, it's not. Uh, okay, Ace Lynn says, Mel and Arthur, wishing you both a happy, healthy, peaceful New Year. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, buckle up in 2024. It's going to be a roller coaster. It's going to be a wild ride. It'll be a bumpy ride. But, you know... <laughs> 
Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I see a positive outcome. So do I. So, you know, it's like you go in the tilt a whirl and you get a little sick in the middle of it, but you get off it eventually. And you can throw up, but you still regain your uh, balance back. Sure. And that's yeah. a we're on the tilt a whirl right now. And we're all kind of sick in the middle of the ride. So, mm -hmm. uh, but I see a lot happening with that whole cheeseburger thing. I call them cheeseburger, uh, where Trump flew, flew fake uh, elect, elector ballots to DC and two uh, Republicans in Congress was helping him, or I see three or four. And that's going to be explosive. Oh, yeah. uh, that's going to, you'll see, oh my goodness, that's going to be, whoa. <laughs> So yeah, nothing yet on that one. I think they're sitting on it because they're they've got a lot more that they're going to come up with. Well, first they just want to get March fourth going, and then once that starts rolling, then they'll. I always say after the first quarter, that's when names when we're in Aries and Taurus. That's when names start being leaked. Names start coming out of who the unnamed co-conspirators are, and others. Yeah, and other indictments with other people. It's gonna get, it's gonna get interesting. I went to Costco. I, I, you know, got tons of popcorn and got some butter. So it's gonna be fun. Eat popcorn, drink coke, and watch the movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, she who creates. I love that name. Will Trump even choose a VP nominee? I just feel he's such a narcissist that he'll see alone can govern without a VP. I think he has to have a VP. Um, it won't be Margie Taylor Green. No, no. Um, it'll probably be some. I don't think it'll be Johnson either. No. Well, you know they're going after him for the insurrection too. You know, he was behind a lot of it. It's coming oh, he's, out. He's yeah. He's going to be in deep water. Plus some other things. What, what we can't mention coming out about him. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Um. Okay, Pam Ferdo says got the popcorn ready for this year's political days. Um, okay, I I, I don't want to go public with this one because it might say something derogatory against a company. Uh, oh, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah. We got to be careful. We can't say the company or anything like that. Um, I you know we got to be careful because we don't want to go to YouTube jail or get sued. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Even entertainment purposes only, we can still get in trouble. Correct. Uh, I I don't think they're doing anything illegal, but at some point, you know, against uh, I see class action lawsuits um, for billing and things like that. So, mm -hmm. and I'll leave it at that. Questionable billing, questionable service charges, et cetera, et cetera. Um. Okay. Somebody's asking about Donald Trump's digestive system. You smell it. Go on. Next question. <laughs> um, his diet is terrible. You know, um, he really has to watch his health. That's what I'm going to say. He's too cheap okay. to get away from a heart attack. <laughs> right. Sharon asked, Happy New Year. Was January 5th bomber a man or a woman? I've always said I see three people involved. I always felt the one that got on camera is a woman, and and they will and they will get to the behind it. Well, it, it was that one, but two others involved as well. But I wow. no, I feel they know who it is. They just haven't gone after them yet. Well, they will, and mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't know if they were aided by somebody in Congress, but I do think people in Congress helped some of the insurrectionists, and that'll come out as well. Oh, when they were giving private tours when they weren't supposed to, exactly. I don't know who did that so. All right, that's all the questions we have. We answered them all. Yeah, that's basically what I have. Um, that's... And we all wake up breathing tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> there you go. Um, anyway, um, I just want to ease everybody's fears that um, number one, you know, speak up. Our voices have to be heard and will be heard. And don't let the polls frighten you. It's just everybody you need to like, like, uh, Arthur says, vote, vote, and vote. Uh, I think the economy is going to improve tremendously in 2024. You know, we're going to see a lot more inclement weather. I think Australia, the eastern coast, was getting pounded by storms. Um, California, I think, the coast is getting hit by massive waves. So is Hawaii. 
it's just nature's way of telling us we've got to curb um, the greenhouse emissions because mm -hmm. these storms will get more violent, more intense, and more frequent. So, I well, mean, I'm 11 miles from the ocean, so maybe I'll have beachfront property by May. Should invest in beachfront property. Um, it was unseasonably warm here at Christmas. I mean, mm. you know, two or three years ago, or four years ago, it was like 70, which is unheard of. But I mean, it's still, it's, it's, it's not, it shouldn't be that way this time in Chicago. <laughs> it should be cold. <laughs> Yeah, I can. I I, growing I, up in I, Indianapolis I, as a kid, it was freezing. I've seen it accelerate, you know, the climate change. So I think we all need to speak up and demand for ourselves and posterity that something be done. Do you know what the mayor in New York is saying? If you see it, say something. I agree. I agree. Oh, uh, I do see less and less dependence coming on fossil fuels, but it's not going to. Our dependence on fossil fuels is not going to end in 2024. <laughs> Did you realize we're drilling more now than we did when Trump was in the White House? We're drilling more. You got it. <laughs> anyway. So. Um, no, I just want to say thank you. Oh, for what? <laughs> well, this is my year to come out on YouTube and it was your show. So thank you. Oh, well. Hey, I just told you to do it and you did. So give yourself credit. I know I finally got off the crack pipe. But <laughs> oh wait, you were in the crack pipe. Never mind. Um no, but thank you. I mean, the, if I look back at this year, a lot of people saying 2023 was crappy. In some ways it was, but in other ways, I got to meet a wonderful community. They're wonderful. Um, and you know, I'm thankful to be alive. And it was the community that helped me through that, um, you know, having cancer, having had cancer. Um, and here we are. And so it was, it was, well, I would, would I say it's a tough year, 2023. And, you know, I had cancer, but, you know, worse things could have happened, right? Um, got to go to Africa. I got to go to Italy. Um, yeah. so, you know, I reached 20,000 subscribers. You're already up to what, 5,000? Yeah, 5.5. Having a conversation and you were wondering if you'd get to 1,000. So here we are. <laughs> well, without calling somebody at Fiverr to give me fake. I'm sorry, say again? Without going to Fiverr and paying somebody to give me fake accounts, you know? <laughs> They're all real. They're all real people. They are. There you go. Anyway, I see you getting to over 10,000 uh, in 2024. So good. Thank you. Well, you're going to double yourself too. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, anyway. All right. So we got to do this again. Yes. And in the meantime, happy new year to everybody here. And wow. I can say this for you and me both. We wish you health, wealth, happiness, peace, joy, and love. I told him to say that. <laughs> I know it's written here. I got the fact. <laughs> and, and also um, not just now, but for now and all the new years to come, all of them. Absolutely. So okay. thank you. So everybody go to uh, Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching on my channel tonight, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And, and, and watching on my channel, thumbs up and subscribe for Mel. There you go. And um, I've got memberships as well. So anyway, okay, I think we should do this on a regular basis. Tell me when. I'll change right. my schedule. We'll we'll talk Except about Except the week I'm doing jury duty in January. That's the only time. Oh, you don't really want to get out of it. Just say I'm a psychic and I think they're guilty. Oh, I did that. I did that. And they put me in they put me in. I was in juror number eleven until they called me out. Um, I had a friend she went for jury duty and um she's a for real witch, actually. Mm -hmm. And um that's a whole nother story. And, and she said, I'm also a psychic and I do cards. And they said, would that affect what you would think about the outcome of a trial? She goes, oh, yeah, I'm convinced that, that they've done it already. <laughs> they lay out. Well, go. well, this is a murder trial. And in the back of my head, I was thinking, should I tell the judge that the guy he killed is telling me how he did it? No, because you might end up in a straight jacket. And having <laughs> well, a the thing is, it's Los Angeles. I said, they said, what do you do? I said, I'm a psychic advisor. And they said, okay. I remember a time when they would go, like, oh my God, 
Now oh, I just hand out some business cards afterwards. Yeah, right. Now it's like, hey, would you read my cards? Mm -hmm. <laughs> LA, I suggest getting a reading with Arthur. He's phenomenal. No. So sign up. And if I'm not available, call Mel. <laughs> you know, if I'm available. Um, all right. Uh, once again, Arthur, easeyourmind.com. My, my computer voice. <laughs> Three one zero four nine four five nine five five. Thank you, Hal. <laughs> there you go. Open the day, bay doors, Hal. Open the bay doors, please, Hal. Um. Anyway, happy New Year. Happy New Year, my friend. All right.